Hey buddy, yeah, Sam back once again. You've probably just watched me unboxing the Galaxy S7 Edge, and we're now gonna show you this. This is one of my favorite cases. I've already got this for the Note 5, for the G5. You name it, this is one of my favorite cases right now. It's from Urban Armor Gear, or UAG, as a lot of people would like to call it. And yeah, we're gonna see what it looks like with the S7 Edge in there. I think it's the magma color. Oh. So, kind of a standard affair with regards to the packaging, it looks identical. Now, it has got, I think they call it a military standard, and from what I can remember, it's drop tested, and it's, it's 810G516.6. I'll be honest with you, I don't have a clue what that means off the top of my head, but all I know is that it's military grade in terms of, you can kind of drop it, and it should be okay. I've been honest with you, I've dropped my Note 5 quite a few times. I shouldn't really say that, but I have dropped it a few times, and it's been absolutely fine. One reason why I like these cases more than others, is the button the actual buttons they've got like a little air gap i think i don't know if that's what they call it but because of the actual gap they get there it's perfect for pushing buttons on there so anyway let's have a look at it shut up sam we want to have a look at this one let's bring in my little scalpel again cut that open there let's open her up oh got more plastic at the side and this is one of my favorite colors out of the options you can get. There are different colors. If you want to check them out, I will put a link down below. They do like a black one, etc. Ah, come on. Get out. Happy days. So I'll stick that off to the side. Let's chuck it over there. Yeah. And as you can tell straight away, it's got the options for the edge. Oh, yeah. Um, it looks, it feels a little different than the previous ones. And I'm going to guess that's obviously because it's the edge kind of cut in there. It's not all kind of bulked out like the normal ones. And I must say, this looks like it's going to be beautiful. So just showing around the case really quickly, it's just got your cutouts, obviously for the button. And it's here. I can kind of show you. I'll show you before I put it on the case. Before I put it on the case, before I put it on the actual phone. If I can get it to focus for us. So you see underneath here, it's got like a little gap. So when you're pushing the button in, it just it works perfectly. And it's exactly the same with regards to the volume. You can see it's like a little gap that you can see my finger through it. So around the actual camera itself, it's all black. So you're not going to get any kind of like lens, uh, the like LED flare flashing back into the camera, which is one of the worst things you can get with a lot of these, a lot of cases. This is not a cheap case, but it's a quality case. That's what you've got to remember. So we'll stick the phone into it and we'll see if it's nice and easy. And yeah, that's it. Straight in there, you know, Bob's your uncle. So in terms of the buttons, just kind of pressing them. I'll bring it across to my mic. You can hopefully hear this now. Really, really easy to press in there. I've got to say, it's perfect. In terms of the cutout on the back, as you can see, it is a perfect cutout, a one-to-one -one cutout. And it does protect the actual camera lens as well, so it is a bit recessed in there. So when you stick it down, you're A-OK, -okay, you ain't gonna have to worry about it. Taking around it to show you regards to the cutouts themselves, as you can hopefully just about see there, they are all exactly where they should be. Just as I've come to expect from UAG, going down the side of it, See there, you can see the whole of the actual curve. It doesn't block any of the screen. And again, the button plus, the actual buttons themselves, are just silky smooth. They're absolutely awesome. On the top of it, your microphone, as you can see, plenty of room around that one. And exactly down this one as well, not a problem. Now, something I always like to mention in my actual case reviews is with regards to this here, the little lip. So you can hopefully just see that there's a tiny little lip. So if you're gonna use some of the edge features, either like that, you can put it down and you can still use the edge kind of feature there. But the best thing is you're not going to scratch it on like a solid surface because it is raised unless there's some little stones and you kind of stick it down and go, ah, oh, I've ruined it. Yeah, you, it's your own fault to be honest with you. But if it's like it's going to like something like this and you want to just put your face down, you don't have to win and it looks cool like that. Got to be honest with you, I do think it looks cooler like that because you want to see those curves. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like curves? Eh? Huh? Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's the U Urban Armor gear case for the Galaxy S7 Edge. I think a lot of words out there. So UAG for short. Got to admit, I do like it. And these here, by the way, they're like kind of rubberized. So when you feel them, they're kind of like little rubber knobs on them. It's blooming nice. It's just a very well-built case. It looks nice. And you can see the Samsung logo as well. Happy days. And I got to say, it kind of matches this phone perfectly in terms of the color. It's nice and enough. And mag I think it's called Magma. Again, the link down below, you can see check out the different colors that you can get. But anyway, people, that is it. If you've got any questions about this or anything else you know what to do by now, you're thinking, hmm, do I, Sam? I kind of forgot. Well, my friend, what you can do is you can hit that comments down below, ask me any questions you want about this or anything else you can think about apart from toes. I'm not a master, don't know, I'm not, don't really know much about toes.
Actually, I kind of do. <laughs> yeah, don't know where that came from. But yeah, if you have questions about this or anything else, down below. If you want to hear people on Twitter, I am on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullum. Snapchat, at Sam J. Pullum. Facebook, Sam J. Pullum. Let's kind of have a little theme going here. Instagram, you guessed it, Sam J. Pullum. Yeah. And if you're on new to your channel, go on, hit the like button and subscribe. It's free. It is, honestly. Don't cost you a penny. <laughs> anyway, people, thanks for watching. You'll hopefully see me, or hear from me at least, in my next video. Yeah. Cheers, everyone.